Welcome to my show, honey. Welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. When you're feeling blue, you don't know what to do. Carrying such a heavy load, honey. Feels like you're all alone. Needing your recipe, well, I'm the one to see. Tiny rolls along you. Wanna hear my song? So welcome to my show. My show is so hot, honey. The fish, the meat. Oh. Hey, darling. Hola. This is Soraya with Soraya's Fierce Cooking Show. Welcome. And I wanted to do a little video and talk about a few things. A, it's Thanksgiving. So that's fabulous. And I'm just really grateful that I'm here to do a video and things are going well and I'm healing. As you know, the last year has been body feminization, facial feminization, and all of that good stuff. But I want to talk to you about law of attraction. Woo! And I want to actually talk and give thanks to Louise Hay, who recently has passed away now. Louise Hay was definitely the first author of like of, of a self-help book. Like I got the book You Can Heal Your Life from Louise Hay. And I read that in the late 90s. And um, it's really something that in that book she talked about Abraham Hicks. But I, I didn't pay any mind to Abraham Hicks because I was all about Louise Hay. And I really didn't know much about metaphysical, um, law of attraction. Um, I read her book and I got a lot out of it. And it put me on the path to finding out about other books. And I started really seeking self-help and self-improvement. Like the seven habits of highly effective people. And if I blink a little bit it's because my face is going through changes with um, hormone therapy. So I'm like, ah. so like my cheeks here are feeling like, raw, so I blink. Stephen Covey is the author of that book. And then there's Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I, actually, I picked that up in the 80s, like 86, 88. And it's now that I'm really getting into it. And the reason why is because through Louise Hay, I, was, I went through this path that just a few years ago, I, I caught on to Esther Hicks and Abraham Hicks and Jerry Hicks, who has passed away as well, Jerry Hicks. So, and then I really got more into Law of Attraction and then went back into reading Napoleon Hill and really getting into the whole philosophy of Law of Attraction and, and controlling my mind and controlling my thoughts, that whole aspect of my life and how I, how I want to think and how I, wanna, how I want my life to manifest and be. So I have to say that I'm very, very happy with the information that I'm getting about Law of Attraction and I'm really, really happy with what I've gotten and continue to get out of Abraham Hicks and what I continue to get out of Louise Hay and Wayne Dyer and folks like Tony Robbins too. What is his name? I, oh gosh, he's really cool too. There's a lot of people, especially on YouTube, that are talking about Law of Attraction, Law of Attraction, Law of Attraction. So, I wanted to give my perspective on Law of Attraction, though it's not much different than anybody else's perspective. Uh, but I really like what I hear sometimes, like, 10 ways when you'll know, when you know you're on the vortex or uh, an alignment or you're really getting into the Law of Attraction. And I think that's going to be a little different for everybody and a little different for me being transgender. I'm going to talk about my Soraya so that I experience the signs that I know when I'm in the Law of Attraction. There are probably going to be 10, maybe less, maybe more. Let's go with number. I'm going to just go through it the way I want to go through it. Now, I weigh and measure my food. And this just came to mind. I wasn't going to this wasn't in my thought when making this video, but I know when I'm in the law of attraction, when I don't want to weigh and measure my food, and I end up weighing and measuring it, and everything on the scale is exactly to point by all eyeballing it. So if it's supposed to be four ounces, I'll, I'll say, okay, let's see. And when I don't feel like doing it, and then I do it, it's like 
the universe just says, okay, you know, we understand you're a little tired. You really don't want to get into particulars with your weighing and measuring. But you know what works for you? We're going to help you. So whatever I put on the scale, it's like, if it's four ounces, it's 3.99. And if it's whatever ounces, it's right to the number. And I don't have to, like, play with a half ounce, quarter ounce, anything like that. It goes right to the point. That's number 10. Oh, that's one number, because I don't know if I'm going to do 10. Number 9. Uh, and this really came up with my move that I have a favorite number which is actually 11 right? and when I moved to Long Beach, California the apartment that I found was 1119 okay? uh, the apartment building right across the street from me it's 1100 the car that I bought, my first car in 17 years her name, I'm not going to tell you her name I was going to tell you but that's kind of personal I was lusting after a Ford Transit connect man I got one white just I wanted one it, the windows the way I want them everything 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 I wanted it under a hundred thousand miles got it had a price for it got it uh, you know budget and she ended up being a 2011 Ford Transit um, the number 11 came through on a lot of levels for me that's number nine. That's when you know you're on the law of attraction, okay? You're thinking the right thing, doing the right thing at the right time, which brings us to number eight, which I love this. I love this, and it happens all the time now. This started happening to me some years ago. I was talking to someone my age about it, and she's pretty into, you know, mindfulness and living in the moment. And I had brought it up to her, and she was like, I don't think that's... She kind of looked at me like I was strange when I brought this up to her. And let me tell you what I brought up. Is when I started sensing it like four years ago about that I would be watching something on TV, maybe on PBS, because I'm pretty picky about my programming, what I, what I let in. It would be um, PBS News Hour. It would be some special on PBS. It would be... Um, I was in New York, so I was watching a lot of New York One because I love New York One and politics. And the TV's on, and I'm typing something or writing something, and just what I'm writing and typing is being said on the TV. So, and that happens. It happened to me yesterday. No, it happened today. That um, I was like, oh, I'm tired. And I had the TV on, on something. And something, you know, that I like watching, enriching. And just when I thought the word tired in my mind, the TV, the sport person said tired. So, and that happens a lot. That's number eight. Number seven, when I went for facial feminization, right? And I decided to go with facial team. I was like, okay, I'm going with, I think I'm going to go with facial team. And when I went to their website um, to book a consult, it was last February. So just when I decided to go with Facial Team, which was the first realm of doctors that showed up on the internet when I started researching and they were the last that I went to because I was like, I don't want to go all the way to Spain. But when I decided that I might take the trip and I might go with them, I went to their site to get a Skype consultation only to find out that a week later they will be in Los Angeles for live consult. So I immediately went online and tried to book. Nothing was available. So I sent them an email and I'm like, look, I want to get a, a, a Skype consultation uh, with a doctor. And she goes, okay, you know, we'll set up an appointment for you. And that was it. And then I get like an email like a day later and she's like, look, we have a cancellation for our Los Angeles a live consult, would you like to take it? I'm at 9 a.m. perfect. I like, I'm an early bird. So I'm like, I'll take it. And so that was number one with that, which is number seven we're working on, right? And then when I decided to go with them, I wanted to get the feminization as soon as possible because, you know, I wanted to heal to get back to work and get resume my life fully. And so they gave me this crazy way ahead date, which I, I was like, okay, I really didn't want to wait till then to go. And then I think about a week later, they send me an email saying, oh, we got a cancellation. We can book you in July. I was hoping July 11th. <laughs> I think it was it July 7th? Something like that. So I took it. So that's number seven. 
That's when you know you're in alignment and you're doing the right thing at the right time. Number six. What could number six be? Maybe I won't have ten. I'm not going to have ten. I like this. No, I want to save this for number one. Because it's so transgender. Okay, uh, maybe this will be number one. But the one thing that I feel is really for me, Sarah Sarada, when I know, when I know I'm in alignment. Oh, when I know, when I know, when I know. Is when I'm thinking thoughts about doing a cooking show, I'm thinking thoughts about doing a food stand, I'm thinking I'm all inspired with, with things that I want to do as Sarah Sarada, the queen of healthy Latin cooking. And I'm taking action. Oh, okay, this would be number six. This would be one of them. The day that I here in Long Beach had gotten my business license to do my food stand. I go, it all works out fine. I pay the fee, it works out fine. I come home, I'm all excited. Didn't have my car at the time because I bought my car after I knew that I got the license that I would be doing the food stand because I didn't want to buy it. A, a small car that I wanted, like the Sonic, Chevy, or another uh, Honda CRZ, the two-seater, because I had the, the CRX. I really wanted to get that, those cars, small, cute, sporty. But I was like, well, how about if I get the food stand? You know, I have this small car, so I had to wait, you know? So finally, when I get my license and my certificate and everything, and I'm coming home on the bus, really excited, I miss my stop. Because I'm like, doo -doo 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 -doo. so excited. So I get off like two stops later when I realize that I like passed my stop. So I'm walking down a street that I normally don't walk down to get home. And this young lady's coming out of her truck. And she's walking in the same direction I'm walking. And I notice it's my neighbor upstairs. My new neighbor. And we recognize each other. I've said hi to her before. She's like, oh, hi. I'm like, oh, hi. And she's like, oh, you know, and I have my little briefcase thing, you know, with my certificate, all happy, glowing, so happy. And uh, we're walking back, and she goes to me, she goes, well, where are you coming from? You know, what, what do you do? You know, we had a chance now to get to know each other. I'm like, well, I'm a healthy Latin cooking chef, and I just came back from getting my permit to set up a food stand. She goes, oh, that's great. And so I ask her, what does she do? And she goes, oh, I'm a food photographer. I, I photograph food. Now, what's the chances of the day that I go for my license, I miss my stop, I'm walking down the street, I normally don't walk down, I run into a new neighbor, that, that, could, that could happen. We have this conversation to find out that she's a food photographer. She lives right above where I live right now. Hi, Maria. Law of attraction. Law of attraction. It just, when you're doing the right thing, living your truth, like I, I'm living my truth as a transgender, the surgery went well, living my truth, uh, my best friend in the world helps me with my healing and transition. Actually, he even, my friend Boris came back with me from Spain. We met in New York because I had to take, you know, connecting flight. Um, the surgery dates, the 2011 Ford Transit, that's all like synchronicity. Just the universe saying, hey baby, you're right on path. You're doing exactly what we want you to do. You're doing, you're doing exactly what you came here to do. And here you go. You don't have to work hard. Look, you got a food photographer right upstairs. You don't have to work hard. The date for surgery is there so you can have the surgery and heal. It's easy. Look, the van is there. It's 2011. All the specs I wanted. Price I wanted. Great salesman. Everything was right with that car. Actually, when I took the car after I bought it, you know, the sales guy was like, "Oh, don't worry, don't worry. It's I, everything's good in the car. He, he's the car facts report here, here." And I already did the, I did the research. He goes, "No, it's all guaranteed. Look at the other bands on the lot. They all say the same thing. Oh, no, don't worry, don't worry. Venga aquí, venga aquí." <laughs> 
I still wanted to make sure. He said, everything's good. Don't worry. God's good. He says, God good. I'm like, this guy. So I bought it on a Thursday. That Saturday, I took it to the mechanic in the neighborhood. This mechanic that had the greatest reviews. And he checks diagnostics. You know, they have these machines now that hook up to the dashboard. Not like the old days. It's 17 years since I have more than that since I had a car. Um, he does a check and he, you know, everything's computer, blah, blah. He rotates the tires, checks the brakes, checks the undercarriage, everything, everything. He just kind of did a great job checking it out. He goes, your car is in great shape. Good buy. Good brakes are good. Everything's good. The only thing I needed to replace was a brake light in the back. The bulb was out. I knew, I knew it was on it. So he's like, good. It's in good shape. I think that's law of attraction, you know, I know that that's law of attraction, so, and the mechanics right here in the neighborhood had really great reviews, treated me so cool, he's like, he made fun of my band, he goes, oh, back there you could make love, <laughs> make love in that van. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make love all right, I'm gonna make love, putting a whole lot of gluten-free vegan empanadas in this bad boy and a lot of delicious Puerto Rican healthy Latin gluten-free vegan food. That's how I'm gonna make love to this man. And you know, every time I ride my van, she says hi. And she's like, where are we going? I'm like, girl, we're going over here. She's like, where? where the, that's where we going? Let's go. It's almost like Herbie the love bug. The car drives by itself. I feel like when I go to the car, she's there waiting. She goes, yo, I'm over here. Did you forget? I'm over here. Come, come. She's like, where we going? Where we going? I'm like, girl, we're going over here. We're going over there. And she's like, let's go. Let's go. Set your GPS because you don't know where the hell you're going. <laughs> I'm like, I know. I got it. I got it. It's crazy. Um, so I think I'm going to end this because this is almost 20 minutes. So I'm going to end it by number one. The number one way. I, Sarai Sarada, the queen of healthy Latin cooking, no when I'm in the vortex is when I am filled with Soraya Subhada thoughts. Much in the way when I came home from getting my licenses and I ran into my neighbor and she find out she's a food photographer. She can help me take pictures of my food and put it on the stand, all of that great thing. When I know that I'm in the law of attraction and when I'm thinking those thoughts, all of a sudden I see the most beautiful men all the men that I find really attractive, like thick legs, height, everything, the look, the legs, the, the butt, everything, because I'm a butt woman, I got like a nice set of buttocks, wide hips, nice culito, ahí bien llenito, bien lindo, bien, bien rico, ay, like conchita manchita, actually, ay. <laughs> And when I, it's just, I could go through that. I could go hour, an hour, two hours, three hours after really getting into a Soraya Sorada, like I'm going to do my cooking show and I'm going to do this recipe. I remember in New York, you know, I would be on the train walking home and I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm going to do my transition and I'm going to do this. And then all of a sudden, just when I'm thinking those thoughts, God like puts the, the universe, puts like all of these beautiful men in front of me and I'm like are you kidding me it's like my friend Boris used to say when we walked my dog who would fight other dogs we would walk my dog and all of a sudden there's a zillion dogs on the sidewalk like for my dog to like fight with and my Boris would say oh my god it's like the doggy parade <laughs> well it's the poppy parade when I'm in my psoriasis with that thoughts and like I'm gonna do this I'm gonna transition you know, I'm going to give up my masculine side because I really am a transgender. I want to live my life as a transgender woman, bringing you healthy Latin food, coming to my transition about how I want to eat too because now I've gotten so vegan. Um, I, I don't want to eat meat. I don't want to cook with meat. That's my transition. So, you know, I've allowed myself to go through the process of, of, of expansion, which they talk about in Law of Attraction, you know, we expand, we, we develop new interests, we, and those interests direct us into taking new risks, 
and I certainly took a big risk coming out here to California. I didn't know anyone here. I could have honest, the only thing I knew when I came here was my name and my social security number, maybe how old I was. You know, that's it. My phone number. But that was it. I knew nothing else. I'm in Puerto Rico. But really, like, and I've been so fortunate. I've met great people. I've had both of my major surgeries. I'm in a really cute apartment. The manager's great. So I'll end by saying the things I'm grateful for is that I had my surgeries were successful. And um, I'm going to set up a food stand, which is why I came to California. And I could do that year-round. Um, I've gotten some responses from the ad that I placed to find someone to help. I've met amazing people. I had my first sale of empanadas, over two dozen empanadas yesterday. Um, I'm doing service at my, my 12 set meetings. Um, a lot of service. I did service at the Gay and Lesbian Center by serving some really fabulous people and I so enjoyed it. So health and positive thinking and taking care of my mind and body has created an expansion and I've been willing to follow the expansion and I've been willing to actually give my, my mind, my body, my soul up to the universe to use, with, to, to come and use me as, as the universe sees fit which was to let go of my masculine side and become the queen of healthy land cooking. You know, I've, I've given my, my, my energy and my, my, I've given my body up to Soraya Sobada, the Queen of Healthy Latin Cooking, because when I started this, I had no intention of transitioning into a transgender woman. No, no, no thought of that. It was purely, I was inspired by something way bigger than me that told me, go in that kitchen and start doing some healthy cooking show videos, you know, emulating a woman, emulating a woman. Not impersonating, emulating, uh, embodying a woman. And I took, I took the calling. I took the direction. And look at where I am now. You know, transitioning. Uh, HRT therapy and my breasts are growing and I have less oil on my nose. I used to say I can go like this and be able to throw that in a frying pan and fry chicken with all that oil. Less oil, my pores are getting smaller, my breasts are kind of growing. And they've always been there. And especially with my body feminization, they perked my breast up really nicely and added fat, my own fat. So they were, they were nice. You saw the videos. They are getting bigger and I think my booty is kind of getting a little. And you know, I had that worked on too with my own fat and tissue. Everything has gone extremely well. And now I'm getting ready to set up my food stand. So I listened to the universe that said, hey, uh, give your body up to the music is a song by, by Billy Nichols where I gave my body up uh, and my soul and my gender to the universe to use as the universe sees fit and I have to tell you the universe has rewarded me richly in so many ways I, a life here in California that I would have never imagined and it would have never have been like that in New York and I love New York don't get me wrong but I I'll end, I know, I'll end by saying that expansion can lead you to a lot of different places and things and if you take care of your mind, body and spirit you will be inspired to do things you never dreamed of doing. For me, one of the things I never dreamt of doing is being a woman um, and I, I am proud to be a transitioning transgender Latina Puerto Rican cooking for you healthy Latin food, vegan, vegetarian, and otherwise if, if I feel the mood to do, but definitely vegan. So I thank you for watching Soraya Sobredaz, I don't know how many we came up with, ways, eight ways, seven ways, six ways, six ways of knowing when you are in alignment, when you are entering the vortex, when you are doing the universe's will. Thank you for watching. Manifest, manifest, manifest whatever way you see best because everybody's path to enlightenment, to manifestation, to, to being in alignment with your, your bigger, the bigger picture is a very personal thing and I'm just talking about my experience and my, and my processes. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. 
Welcome to my show, honey. Welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. When you're feeling blue, you don't know what to do. Carrying such a heavy load, honey, feels like you're all alone. Needing your recipe, well, I'm the one to see. Tiny rolls along you, wanna hear my song? So welcome to my show. My show is so hot, honey. The fish, the meat. Oh. Hey, darling. 